Wednesday. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. So good to see you. Excited to be back with you to have another day of Q&A. Um, let me make sure we're good in the Facebook group, see if we have any comments, any engagement happening thus far. We have Yvonne on with us again today. Yvonne, so great to see you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Absolutely. So let me get over here. All right, here we go. We're good to go. Okay, I hope everybody can see my screen okay, but it's going to be, again, another day of crypto Q&A. Antela, founder of Crypto Vibes and the Be Crypto Confident Facebook group and the Grown Women Crypto Community, all about helping women over 40 be crypto confident and take control of their finances. Now, I will tell you this, not everyone who is into crypto is crypto confident. I see it all the time. It's so funny to me. I see people very active on certain posts and in certain groups and giving lots of advice. But then those same people will also um, be inquiring about how do they perhaps buy a coin or how do they, um, you know, other things that might indicate a lack of experience or knowledge of some of the fundamentals in cryptocurrency. And that is what I want to help women over 40 to avoid, to avoid those uncertainty um, situations, avoid not knowing, really knowing how to move about the crypto space, because it, it honestly, it's pretty easy to go in and buy a coin. You know, it's almost like Amazon, like shopping online, but it's some of those other underlying things that help make navigating the crypto space easier, have a better understanding, and also to know how to do some of those fundamental things without having to ask for help. So that's what we're all about, crypto confidence. We have some more people joining us on Zoom. Michelle Stevens, welcome. And Nicole, welcome as well. So excited to have you here. Let's see what's happening in the Facebook group. All righty, so we're good to go. So let's do our question of the day, which I think I shared a, a sneak peek of in, <laughs> accidentally. So this is a question that I hear from time to time. If cryptocurrency is digital money, isn't it weird that we have to buy it with money? I totally get that. It, it is kind of like, well, why am I exchanging one type of money for another type of money? Because that's essentially what you're doing. But here's the thing, because the medium of exchange that we currently utilize in most countries is fiat, is government issued money. So th at this point, that's kind of, the the grading scale or the how, that's how we attach value to certain things we can compare it to precious metals you know centuries ago gold was currency and really it still is it's just that we've gotten so accustomed to fiat we don't ever say okay i'm gonna buy this car with a kilogram of gold nobody says that right you're always going to say i want to buy this car this hundred thousand dollar car for a kilogram of gold because we're just tuned into dollar value it's the same with cryptocurrency right now we're still saying okay one bitcoin is worth forty eight thousand dollars but i think the day will come and we'll say this item is worth one bitcoin as opposed to the dollar being the standard of assigning value does that make sense? And this is where we are right now. Who knows when that's going to happen, when we're going to get away from thinking in dollars so much. And I see it a lot too, even in my trainings and my coaching groups, um, we still have to relate everything to a dollar. For example, we're in a platform where we're, we're earning cryptocurrency. And every time we say, okay, I'm going to earn this cryptocurrency, it's like we automatically convert that to dollars. This is what I'll compare it to. It's like if you go to the UK, you're in the US and you go to the UK and you're shopping and all of the price tags are in pounds, right? Everything's in pounds. So it's only natural for you to say, okay, if it's this many pounds, it'll be this many dollars. I know when I travel abroad, it's just automatic because that's your value system. So it's the same with cryptocurrency. Yes, this is how much Bitcoin, but it's this much value in dollars or Ethereum or SHIB or Doge or whatever cryptocurrency we're talking about. So that is just kind of a mindset thing. Right now, that's the only way we acquire other things is using dollars. But once we're in the cryptocurrency space, we're then able to trade one crypto for other cryptos without involving dollars at all. So if anyone's active in the crypto space, you already know there are crypto to crypto exchanges that don't even want 
to mention dollars. <laughs> they just want you to say, okay, I have this Bitcoin and I want to get some Ethereum, or I have this Litecoin and I want to get some ADA. It's, you know, it doesn't tie back to the dollar as much because you're exchanging crypto for crypto. Tell me, ladies, does that make sense? Tell me in the chat, please, if you don't mind. I just want to make sure that's clear. Hi, Kathy, welcome. Thanks for joining us on Facebook. Okay, great. Thank you, Yvonne. It makes sense. So were there any other questions, either from the Facebook Live or from Zoom? Did anyone have any other questions that we want to cover here on day three of crypto Q&A? Yes, it is that simple of an exchange. We no longer have a bartering system where you can exchange anything of value. Very true. Very, very true. It always comes down to money. It comes down to dollars. It comes down to fiat. I should be specific. It comes down to fiat. That's just what we've been doing for so long now. It's hard to think outside of that. Any questions? I have three people on with me on Zoom. Did you ladies have any questions or any questions on Facebook before we wrap up? I wanted to just address that issue because I hear that quite a bit. It's like, it's weird. How you buying, how do you buy money with money? <laughs> so it's just a simple exchange. Okay, no questions. Awesome. Okay, so once again, we are working our way towards Sunday where we have the um Five Essentials to Thrive in Crypto Summit at 2 p.m. Okay, um, coins not all in the same wallet on the same exchange or bridge. Okay, um, tell me what you mean, Yvonne. You can unmute. Mm -hmm. Okay, you wanted to know if we had any questions. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I had a real big problem with when I first started uh, looking at crypto mm -hmm. is whenever you're wanting to buy a coin, you may have any other coin. I may have Crow and I really want to buy Solana or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's exchanging it, knowing where to go. And I've learned you can go to crypto, uh, a coin market cap, a coin gecko like that. Mm -hmm. But it can be a little bit tricky um, getting the coin that you want in order to, for instance, if you're trying to buy nodes or something like that, mm -hmm. it can be a little bit tricky. You can bridge, but you can't bridge every coin mm -hmm. on the bridge. And so I've tried to figure out an easier way to make transactions happen. I have not found anything that's easier. It's just, it continues to be a challenge for me. So um, yes, it is tricky. It can be very tricky. It, it takes a little bit of um, expertise, some trial and error. I have honestly, I have not done much bridging, but I do use the swaps. The swaps I find or have thus far worked for me if I'm trying to get into a new network or on a new platform. So um, you may wanna look into the swaps. That is something that we cover in our group coaching program. As Nicole, who's one of our Crypto Vibes crew members can tell you, we, we go in depth about the swaps and how to get into different networks and how you may have to go from one coin to another coin to another coin. It may not always be a direct connection. So it's not something I can easily explain here, but just to be completely transparent, I use the swaps more than I use a bridge. Is that shed any light at all? You'll check that out. Okay, great. I hope that's helpful. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so, let um, me ask you one more question. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, where do you find your, I, I registered for one. Now, where do I go to find where you have other classes? Because I would like to be a part of some of the other ongoing stuff, but okay, I don't even remember where I went to find the, the first class. Where do I yeah. go? Is it Crypto Vibes? Yes, Crypto Vibes is where I have all the activities. So what I do when I was referring to the Crypto Vibes crew, we do six week coaching sessions. So we're actually just wrapping one up. Um, Monday was week six, and now we're getting into our bonus sessions where we're getting into trading information about crypto trading. Um, so the next group, the next six week program will start after the summit. It will be shared on the summit as well about what all is involved in that six week program. And then it'll open up, you know, we'll have a set date to be honest. It's, I can't remember the top of my head. It'll probably probably be like mid to late April. We'll start another six week session for everyone who comes in and we go through everything together 
for actually it winds up being about 10 weeks because we do six weeks of the crypto fundamentals and some earning options and then we do a bonus four weeks of um, trading crypto 101 crypto trading 101 so it winds up really being about 10 weeks total of that group coaching session so yes, I don't have a date out yet. It's not something that's always posted because I do do it in sessions because I kind of bring everybody together. So we do it all together. Once upon a time I did, I had it online. Most people just prefer the one on, not the one-on-one, -on -one, but the group setting where they could ask questions live and they weren't very interested in just doing it on their own. So I kind of removed that option. And now we're just doing it as a group. Yes, I do have an email blast. Um, if you are, yeah, you're in the Be Crypto Confident group, right? You can send me, just send me via messenger or email and that way I can make sure you're in there. And um, thank you, Nicole, for that commentary. She said, the six week course is truly eye-opening. The discussions and ideas shared are priceless. Thank you very much. We do our best and we always have a lot of fun. It's just, you know, again, mostly mature women who are just there, we're kind of on the same page. We communicate well. We meet once a week for six weeks. And then again, the modules with the trading are a little bit more independent, but we do meet with the instructor because I am not a trading instructor, but the instructor does meet with us twice to help us along, make sure we understand everything and so forth. So is, is that helpful um, at all, Yvonne, I hope? Yes, it is. And look, one last quick question. Mm -hmm. Can I bring a 21-year-old? I know you're focusing for women <laughs> at 40 and over, but I've got a 21-year-old that's interested in being a part. She's a junior. And so I don't know if that's okay or not. I just thought I'd ask. No, it's absolutely fine. We will never discriminate. You know, of course, we have our core market. Um, everything is designed for uh, that demographic, but anyone is welcome to learn, even, you know, men, women, it doesn't matter, you know, we don't care. Um, but the reason I do focus on women over 40, or because I, I think it's much easier for me to relate to them, and because we are often in a very unique situation, and this space is not very conducive to making it easy for us to learn. And I will share one quick experience. I did have someone join um, in the past who was a bit younger, and um, she was very free because she was a stay-at-home mom. And she felt that the course moved too slow. But I was trying to help her understand that this course is really designed for women who are usually very busy. And it was not my intention to overwhelm them with too much information or to pressure them into learning too quickly. I wanted it to go at a pace they were comfortable at. And I feel like the pace that we have is good for the group of women that I focus on. Um, so I just like to tell people that up front as well. It's not going to be a jump in and throwing a lot of information at you and overwhelming you with posts. And I am even in some groups and I'm not knocking their approach because they're getting done what they want to get done. But it's a lot of, you know, urgency, just pushing out coins and check this out and look at this platform. And that's fine. It's not what is appealing to me. It's not what I want. So it's not what I offer. But again, everything's not for everybody. So I just like to be clear, this is how we operate. And, you know, but anyone honestly is welcome to join us. Okay, great. All right, awesome. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you for that. I appreciate the questions. Um, so, oh, I forgot to talk about the tees. I'm wearing my t-shirt today. The future of crypto is female. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes. So if you want a t-shirt, just get, it's only $25, save $10 through March 31st in honor of Women's History Month. You can order that at CryptoVibes.com. And again, the summit, that's what I was talking about. So the five essentials to thrive in crypto is a free online summit. Again, all are welcome. And I'm excited about our special guest. He has uh, this really interesting uh, tool to help us not only thrive in crypto, but also to help us um, reach our financial goals. And I'm bringing Scott in because many people that I'm running into are really being crushed by their debt. And I wanted to offer something that can help them. And okay, thank you, Kathy. I don't wanna overlook our, <laughs> our uh, Facebook Live member who joined. Um, I'm sorry. So Scott's gonna introduce this to us. It's very complimentary to what we do. And, uh, the Crypto Vibes crew, and I, I just wanted to be able to share it. Of course, it's not by any means mandatory to be involved, 
But if someone is looking for more options, because crypto is a great tool, of course, I'm very enthusiastic about it. It's been good to me for the past four years. But if someone needs something that might be a quicker option to help them get their debt paid down, because here's the reality, as many of you probably already know, the reality is crypto is great depending on, I mean, it's great. But if you don't have much to start with, it's going to be difficult to see a lot of return, right? That's logical because it's an investment platform. You're investing and then you're going to hope that investment gains and returns and all that good stuff. But this is another option that you can consider if there's something that you want to take care of right away to either free up more money for investments or to bring in some money for your investments. OK, but that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to let Scott talk about that on Sunday. All right. And. Of course, I have to remind you about the Crypto Confidence Beach Retreat, May 13th through 16th at Myrtle Beach. Super excited. People are signing up. We're going to have a great time, and I'll talk about that more at the summit as well. So here's the thing. I'm going to stop share. And I promised a prize to one of the people who joined us live. So Yvonne, Michelle, and Nicole, thank you for joining us live. Happy to have you here. I'm just going to need one second to set up the the wheel so that we can see who's going to win. So you guys hang on one second. Let me put some music on just so we don't get too bored. Wait, I don't want that one. Okay, that's our, our Will of Names music, right? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna share a screen and we're gonna do the Will of Names to see which one of our three Zoom joiners are going to win. Oh, it still didn't work, hold on, what did I do wrong? Oh, I know what I did, there we go. There we go. Okay, so we have Michelle, Yvonne, and Nicole, and we're gonna click to see who's gonna win. And we're spinning and we're spinning. And the winner is Michelle. Congratulations, Michelle. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Look, Michelle, you want something before. Like you're dipping in here, just winning up some stuff, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you were the first person. I remember you were the first person to join the Telegram group when I set that up. So you're just a regular little winner. Yeah. So you won a so password much. book. Okay. You know you do. do you have no. one? Good. Okay. So <laughs> what happens, you know, we're really big on keeping good records. Now, not to be confused with our Showfolio. Showfolio is our book for our wallet information, right? That's different. Mm -hmm. That's the one that's uh, water resistant and tear proof. That's a different one. This is just regular mm -hmm. paper, but it's just a general okay. password book. Because my personal issue was I had my little notebook. Here it is. I had my little book where I kept my passwords and could never find anything because it was all over the place. Mm -hmm. So I said, I need a better system. <laughs> so I found this one and it has, it's alphabetized. So it's okay. almost like an address book, but you have your website, mm -hmm. your username, your password is really making my life so much better. So I'm going to send that you one. Nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I'm, I, I love it. It's really nice. And I've had a few people win them and they love them. So we'll ship that out to you. And congratulations once again. Thank you. Okay. So y'all, that is going to be it for me. I cannot wait to see you Sunday at 2 p.m. Be sure to invite your friends. This information is going to be very clear, not technical. So invite everybody. And plus it's free. So everybody can just come in and listen. Somebody you heard say, uh, hey, I want to learn about that crypto stuff. Or or if you mention it to someone, well, what does it mean? And you know, they want you to sit down and explain it all. Tell them to come onto the summit. We're going to break down some things for newbies and people who are already involved in the space.
Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, thanks everybody. Thanks for joining us on Facebook as well. I want to make sure. Oh, great, Kathy. Kathy, um, I mean Michelle. Kathy says that. Um, congratulations. <laughs> All right. Well, you will have a great afternoon. I am going to be live tomorrow at 3, again, 3 p.m. Eastern. That's going to be our last day of our four days of crypto Q&A. And then Sunday, of course, is the summit. All right. So thanks again. Everyone have a great afternoon and weekend and hope to see you tomorrow as well. Okay. Take care.